I'm Molly Hudson with 3 News Now. You've probably seen litter in your neighborhood, parks, and maybe even bodies of water. I met up with one group who has spent the last two years cleaning up communities we all call home. I found a metal pipe. Okay. I have no idea why it's out here. Bags and bags full of trash found right here in our community by volunteers with the Blue Bucket Project Omaha. I started the Blue Bucket Project because people were complaining about litter so much and I said, well, if you're going to complain this much, are you willing to do something about it? And before she knew it, founder Cindy Teff's flash trash mob litter pickups took off. I'm totally amazed. Last year with flash trash mobs, we had 571 volunteers and we picked up over 898 bags of litter. Pat Gromack has been with this group since it started about two years ago. It goes by fast when you're picking up litter. You just get addicted to it all the time. Passionate about keeping her community clean, participating in about 40 pickups so far. Nature is so beautiful, but it gets interrupted with all the trash and the litter that isn't natural. It doesn't really belong there. It's one hour out of your day and it's as easy as showing up at the site, grabbing a blue bucket, a trash grabber, and getting to work. I'm one thinking about our earth, we really don't see a lot of natural trash. Everything is recycled and repurposed. Um, so I think doing our part out here and really making sure that we take care of what we brought into the environment by removing it from the environment is super important. This was David Baker's first time volunteering. When thinking about my why, it's more of like a why not? It's so easy showing up for an hour during my week. And in just 60 minutes, this group of 11 filled about eight bags of trash. It's something, if, what little bit you do, it all counts. Cindy says litter can impact neighborhoods, animals, and waterways. One goal of this project, volunteers come into a space, clear it up, and then... Hopefully the people that live here or work here will kind of keep it up. Respecting the environment we all get to call home. In Omaha, Molly Hudson, 3 News Now.